All right, guys, let's get to it. Um, so right now we're going to break down how you actually get this 2K roster onto your particular system. The first thing you're going to need to do, if you haven't already, is have a thumb drive with your PS3 um, roster, say, from like your console, because you're going to need some information off there. So you can go ahead and jump on 2K18, just download any generic roster, you know, under your name, just save it, and then dump it onto your thumb drive. You can do that right from the PS3 device. If you don't know how to do that, I'm sure there's tutorials on the YouTube, but it's like three or four different steps. It doesn't even have to be a 2K18 roster. Like in this example, I'm gonna use one of my Madden rosters, which I do have 2021 rosters available for Madden as well. If you haven't already, go check that out. Um, but these are um, the files that we're gonna be using. And um, before we get started, let me erase that. I wanna give a shout out to ZM, Mr. You Know Who. He's on YouTube. Uh, this is where I got these files from. This is how I learned how to navigate through brute force uh, really quickly. Like I don't really know much about brute force, but all I know is just how to get these um, rosters to work on your console. So that's what I'm gonna show you. But check him out if you wanna know more about brute force. He's got some real detailed uh, videos over there. All right, so you already got your thumb drive with your save roster. It should have a PS3 folder on your thumb drive. Very important, you need that. So let's jump into the first part. This brute force save data folder, what I'm gonna do is jump in here and you're gonna have two files, right? One is the MSVBM 50, one is the brute force save installer. Before you click on the installer, it's and very important that you install this MSVBM. This has like some DLLs and other things that are needed for brute force to work properly. So double click on that, run it, go through the, um, you know, screens, next, install, all that stuff. I've already done that, so don't need to do it uh, over on this side, but make sure you do that. So go ahead and do that. And then after that's completed, go ahead and open up brute force. So let's, let's go and do the installer for brute force. Do you want to allow this app? Yes, I do. I'm going to go next. I'm go, I agree. It's going to put it in the C drive and go ahead and install it. This installer shouldn't take anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds. It's not a huge file. Create shortcut. Okay, boom. Now it's done. So the first thing it's going to do is going to try to run brute force. All right, let's do it. All right, we got our brute force screen. All right, so the first screen that pops up is a uh, cheats repository. Um, I guess it's just from the brute force save data folks or somebody from a forum. Um, you can check that out. I don't know what it actually, I haven't done anything with it, but there's a download button. So I don't know, play around with it if you want to. If not, just hit the X button. This is the screen that uh, is very important, global settings screen. Right now it's asking you for a user ID and console ID. Most people don't know that offhand. Matter of fact, I don't know anybody who does. So what we're gonna, gonna need to do is um, go back here to our PS3 tools folder. That's what that's for. Um, of course I already have it installed, but we'll install it again. Yes. Yes to all. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it so it um so you'll see what it looks like when it pops up. This is where that so right now your thumb drive should be plugged into your computer, <clears throat> whatever computer you're on doing this. And this is where that PS3 save data folder from your console is gonna come in handy. Alright. So bam, bam. This is the PS3 tools, okay? has a lot of different icons. The one we want to click on is Param SFO Editor. Okay, click on that. It brings up a box. What I want to do is I want to load that file from the roster uh, that I was just talking about from your system. Not the one that I'm sending you, from your system. So I'm going to click on the black icon to get my uh, roster and it's already there, but I'll go through the motions. This is my thumb drive, L drive. This is my Madden roster. 
2021 version two. There's probably some updated cuts and signing. All right, so I'm gonna go in the save data folder. I'm gonna go into the blues, whatever folder that is. This is the file I'm looking for, param.sfo, all right? I'm gonna load that. All right, you see what pops up? It tells me what the title of the game is that I saved. It shows me the name of it, so forth and so on. So what I'm looking for, right, is my user ID and my console ID. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my user ID. That is parameters under this dropdown, right? You see where the title is? Under this dropdown, parameters user ID one. Click on that and boom, there's my user ID. So I'm gonna copy that. Paste it right there, all right? Next thing it wants is my console ID. So I'm gonna go back to my dropdown. I'm gonna go to parameters, PSID. See it, this long string here? That's my console ID. I'm gonna copy that. Paste it there. All right, now I got my user ID and my console ID. I'm gonna click close. Next thing it's gonna ask you, you must set up a profile with the parameter SFO of a, of a save containing your account ID. So once again, this is the save that came from your PS3. In this instance, I'm using my Madden PS3 roster save. We can use that same parameter that we just loaded over here on um, parameter tools. Use that same parameter SFO. Do you want to configure it now? Yes. All right. Then your uh, folder should pop up. There it is. Same, I mean, it's already reverting to that same roster, but you go through the same motions, back to your thumb drive, back to your roster, back to your PS3 folder, save data, blues roster, param SFO. Now at this point, it's gonna give you this uh, string here. This should be your account ID. This automatically should pop up. You don't have to enter a friendly name. That's friendly enough. It's your account ID. Click okay. All right. Cool, so now it has a template. Basically, you see up here, it has a template now to refer to, because this now is my profile, but let me let me large up the screen so we can see everything that's going on. All right, so now what we wanna do is make sure you click on this icon, get that out the way so you can have detailed information under here. And the icons thing had me, <laughs> that tricked me at first. I was like, I don't see anything, but now let's click off that. All right. So now you're gonna load the PS3 roster file that I'm sending you, all right? You should have that on your thumb drive. If you had it in the zip folder, go ahead and unzip it now. If you had it in the name folder, go ahead and, you know, make sure you know where it's at. All I'm saying is don't get them confused. All right, I'm gonna click the three icons right there. You see that? All right, so now it's wanting me to find my roster file. So for this instance, I'm using, um, somebody's file from Operation Sports Forum. I was another guy who did some rosters. His rosters are pretty cool, but um, as far as mine, I took a little bit more time on creations. I, I really like creating players, so that's why it took me some time to do this, so I hope you enjoy it, but let's find my thumb drive. Where is it? Here it is. PS3 folder. I know that this isn't, you know, because I have my other one named Madden, I know this is the roster file that I need to be using, which in your case would be the one that I'm sending you. Make sure you know what PS3 folder it is. All right. So I click on the save data. Uh, you can actually click on the the blues folder. You can click on save data or blues, but I'll, I'll just go drop down to that one. Click OK. And boom, you should get a file here, right? So check it out. Uh, 2K18. So this was a 2K18 roster. See this profile? This isn't my profile name. This is my profile. This is the reason why you can't just grab anybody's rosters and load it straight without using brute force or to reset, resign. So that's why we need this. All right. Also here it has um, title IDs and things of that sort. Has their, that person's user ID, it's not mine. So what I'm gonna do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is double click on this um, little bar here right this whole little bar if I double click 
what's going to happen is brute force is going to run its thing and it's going to tell me hey secure file id for nba 2k18 user data what it did is it did some type of thing where it creates a key you need that to happen click ok and boom now you have all this information you see this account is still that same person so it's not ready yet so now if you notice um you can you can do a verify pfd actually no cancel that don't do that now what you want to do is so just exit out your memory <laughs> Uh, what you want to do is you see off to the right here you have this rebuild once you rebuild it then that's when you'll be able to verify it because it has your profile in it so right now let's go ahead and do that let's click on rebuild once you click rebuild you're gonna get the options to rebuild partial or rebuild full you want to rebuild full it's, it's bold it's in bold letters so should be kind of obvious next it asks you do you want to update the param sfo with this profile 51 blah 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 whatever your profile says this is my profile so yes I want to I'm gonna click yes let it do its thing shouldn't take more than 15 to 20 seconds it's gonna go through and bam you see that so it reloaded and did some things right now if I look at the profile look it changed to my profile I can verify that here see it and um, still it's got the key also user Remember, I put my user ID in there. Boom, there it is. So at this point, I could do a verify, and everything comes out okay. I shouldn't get any red. That what that entail means is that this roster file now has my console ID, now has my uh, user ID. So one other step that we need to do, going to exit out of here real quick. You know, all of that's good. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to the source, the back to that thumb drive, right? Back to that PS3 folder, save data, whatever the roster file is. And you notice you have these one, two, three, four, five files. There should be a total of four files in here. This FS SFO original is still there from the, um, you know, when I first loaded it. The param.sfo is now the updated one you can tell by the time and date 8 17 8 8 9 p.m that's today what i want to do now is get rid of this param sfo original um i don't know if it'll work with it but i've always been showed to get rid of it so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna delete that yes all right bam so now the rest of my files are still in there now what i should be able to do just for the last, you know, uh, last test is we're going to go back into brute force. And that file should, you, know, you get this every time you open it, so just exit out. And that file should show already in there because that was the last file I used. But if you want to, you know, go through the motions, go ahead and go to your PS3, go to your blues, click OK, boom. It should, it still should show your profile, right? That's just my profile and my user ID. I can verify one more time just to make sure deleting that SFO original didn't do anything weird and it didn't. So boom, at this point, your new roster file is ready, uh, you know, to jump onto your uh, PS3. Just make sure if you had it in a, a weird name folder like EDOT's roster for PS3, you know what I mean? make sure that this ps3 folder let's go back to my thumb drive just like i have it here right this is the root of the thumb drive meaning when i first open my thumb drive this is the front page this ps3 folder needs to be on that front page right not dumped into one of these folders it needs to be this ps3 file needs to be on the front page and just make sure this is the one you just updated you do that slide it in your ps3 go to save data utility copy over the uh roster file and boom it should jump into your um back onto your playstation console when you load up uh 2k18 you should be able to go to load you should be able to go load roster the roster file that i sent you and you in the game you're ready to go that's it so cool man i hope this helped y'all out like I said, it took me some time to learn how to do it, but we in there. 
You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoy the roster file. Enjoy the rosters. I took some time on these, man. Try, try to make them as realistic as possible. You know, given a little bit of uh, creative player ability they give you. <laughs> but try to make it happen. So once again, if you got any questions, hit me up. Um, other than that, hope y'all enjoy it. Appreciate the love. Stay fresh. Stay cool. I'm out. Peace.